Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dustmos, and today I'm here with a very special launch day episode for the all-new Death by Audio Exploding Head. This crazy triple delay is a wild feedback machine. Um, this thing is nuts and I really, really like it. And this pedal is actually limited to only 500 units, which is available exclusively through Reverb.com. Death by Audio was awesome and sent this over about four days ago now, um, so I haven't had a lot of time with it, but in that time I've spent a lot of time with it and uh, really tried to dive in and check it out, and I'm really liking it so far. It's got individual controls for each of the three delay heads, and it is super versatile. You can blend them in and out, um, control feedback for each, and time for each. It's also got this infinity foot switch that allows you to um, just smash the feedback into oblivion, and uh, it's pretty awesome. The exploding head is being released to commemorate the uh, anniversary of the A Place to Bury Strangers album by the same name, Exploding Head. And if you listen to that album, you'll understand why the Exploding Head is named after it, because it really is um, a gateway into that world of feedback, delay, stacking, um, just wild wall of sound kind of stuff, and it's really cool. As always, I'll quickly go over the knobs and control I.O. stuff um, in the next section, but if you want to skip that and go right to the sounds, um, shortcuts are in the description. But yeah, I'm really excited to share this with you, so let's check it out. This is Signal Colors. So the exploding head has nine knobs, a hard latching foot switch for the bypass switch, a momentary switch to activate the infinity mode, an LED to show status for bypass, an input, an output, and a nine volt power jack. As you may be able to tell by the graphic here, um, the input is mono, but then you can actually get a sort of pseudo stereo output, which is pretty interesting. Um, what that means is, if you put in a mono cable, you'll get all three um, delay heads coming out of a mono signal. Or if you plug in a TRS cable, um, known as like an insert cable that splits into two quarter inch mono jacks, you'll actually will get the black and the gray repeats on one channel and the red on the other. So you can set that up to be a stereo situation. You could actually further process either one of those if you wanted to. That's a pretty cool setup and I'd say probably a pretty unique one too. So first up the control, as you can see, there's three sets of three controls here. Um, time, feedback, and blend, each for each uh, tape head, repeat head. And the first control is time, which goes from 10 milliseconds all the way up to 600 milliseconds. Feedback controls the number of repeats per delay. Um, so again, if these are set differently, then the repeats will um, shift and um, counteract each other and come in at different times, giving you some cool um, rhythmic patterns that you can dial in, really fun. The blend controls the volume of each delay section and um, you can actually turn it up far enough that for a good amount of the range, it's actually louder than the input which means you can hear more of your repeats and your feedback and all that stuff than the actual incoming signal, um, which can be pretty cool and have some interesting uh, applications. And last but not least is the infinity switch, which I mentioned earlier is momentary. So when you press it down, it actually feeds back um, the output of the last one into the first one here in the series. And so um, you'll get these crazy uh, looping feedback um, cycles that are really really intense um, and as you can see above this blend knob there is maybe you can't see but there's an infinity logo and that actually um, will control the volume of the feedback um, as it comes back when you're using the infinity mode but if you have this turned up really loud i've noticed this has a huge impact as well because that's the last stage when it comes out if it comes back in crazy loud then it's going to be really loud even if you have this kind of turned down so um, they both matter in that case. And one last thing to note is that they are in series. So this feeds into this one and then feeds into this one. And that's why the infinity mode, you get everything that happens across all three delays and then it comes back in and then goes back through all three delays. So that's why it can get really crazy really fast. But that leads to some pretty epic results. But yeah, that's the basic rundown of the exploding head. Let's get it hooked up and hear how it sounds.
Okay, so in my first demo here, you may or may not be able to tell that I've got it paired up with the Electron Analog 4 on this side and the Electron Analog Rhythm on this side. In this first example, I'm keeping things very basic because I want you to hear exactly what the exploding head is doing. So to that end, I actually just have one note playing on the Analog 4 and it's going into the rhythm that's going to provide a kick drum. As always, I like to start with my clean pattern, which sounds like this. Supremely basic. <laughs> but that'll just emphasize what this is giving us. So I'll go ahead and activate the exploding head. As you can hear, no change. And that's because I have all three heads turned down. So let's bring in the first one. Now the second. And the third. So as you can see, um, all of these are individual controls for each of the three heads, in case you didn't watch the controls overview. These two times are about the same, so you can kind of hear that doubled up a little bit. Hear the feedback really coming in now. So that was a cool little run with the feedback. Now what you'll notice is if I um, do the same thing with the middle one or the first one, um, well, I'll do it and then I'll explain it after. So even though I turn it down, um, it kind of continues on a little bit more because these do run in series. So um, what you're hearing fed back will then go into the next one, into the next one, so. Now right now I have the synth input level a little lower. And that's why the repeats are fairly clean. But I'm going to increase the level here. And you hear a nice little distortion on the repeats. Mute the kick drum.
cranked the feedback, but I brought the level down, so it still stays kind of tame. something a little bit more gentle. Okay, now I'm going to show you the infinity switch, which is pretty crazy, so we'll see what happens here. in the control overview this blend knob controls the uh, infinity level as well so you can kind of if things go nuts then just make sure you keep this down a little bit and you'll stay remotely safe levels wise Commentary hits. That's cool. Super cool. And then back to a normal three head delay with individual feedback controls which is also not that <laughs> typical anyway. So cool on its own, but you can make it even crazier with all the feedback and the infinity control, really fun. And all that coming from one note. Okay, so back again with a more fleshed out pattern loaded up and um, now some more pad type sounds um, going through the exploding head. So here we go. The clean pattern sounds like this. Notice the long attack, short decay. build up and then basically chop off. So anything past that you'll know is coming from this. So let's hear it. Really nice. So I'm gonna tweak it.
just feed back in. all three. a bit to see if we can get a little bit more of a distorted character. feedback territory. That's pretty cool. And I have them all turned all the way down. Time-wise, which is really interesting. Get some feedback up. Mm -hmm. 
And there we go. Okay, so in my last example, um, I have a pattern with more intricate individual notes on the analog four, um, and then a drum pattern coming from the rhythm. There's this chord pad sound with a hit at the beginning of it. That's loaded on this pad that's gonna play in two pitches. That is not going through. Um, that's not coming from the analog four. Okay, so let's hear it clean. So definitely a little boring. I mean, the drums are cool. But that's just simple, you know? We're gonna fix that.
crazy on the time now. That is the exploding head from Death by Audio paired up with the Electron Analog 4 and the Rhythm. Really fun. I really like what it was doing with the synth stuff. Um, this like controlled chaos of the feedback is awesome. I'm definitely going to be using this in some of my work. So what do I think about the exploding head? Well, so far I'm having a ton of fun with it. Um, I really like having the uh, three stacked repeats. Um, that's crazy cool. Um, having the individual controls for each and just really twisting this feedback knob to um, oblivion makes a giant wall of sound and it's really, really cool. I like being able to blend in and out each of them so you can actually kind of change them over time like I did in some of my demos um, where you can kind of bring in one of the heads, fade out another one, um, kind of tweak the feedback on one of them so you can kind of move around the way you accentuate um, the different uh, of the three heads and that's really cool and creative. It lets you really kind of morph it over time and that's really fun. One thing I like is um, if you are gentle with it, <laughs> you can get some nice sounds out of it um, where it just sounds good, which I did in one of my demos as well. Um, but you can also make it sound pretty gnarly. Um, so that's cool. Um, you do have to sort of watch your input level though, um, because this thing likes to distort pretty early on, but um, that is kind of part of the point in a way and definitely kind of a little bit more in the realm of like the death by audio sound I think. Build quality is really good, um, feels you know like it's, it's built to withstand some stuff <laughs> and uh, even though these are the little mini knobs um, they take a lot to even wiggle them so they feel really solid in there, completely usable. Aesthetics wise, I think it looks very Death by Audio, um, but it also reminds me a lot of like the color palette from the NES, like the original Nintendo. Um, yeah, I'll put a graphic on the screen or something because uh, it's uncannily familiar and I kind of love that. And also getting it in this bundle is really cool. Uh, this vinyl is super well done. Um, I love that like the transparent vinyl is really cool. It feels special, you know, as an anniversary version should. And it has the extra art card and all that kind of stuff. Uh, really, really cool. And also what better way to commemorate this album than by releasing a pedal. The Exploding Head also comes with bonus swag like stickers and patches and pins and that kind of stuff. And uh, if you're into that sort of box candy type stuff, really, really cool that they throw that in. So yeah, I think the Exploding Head is a lot of fun. Um, it's just a crazy wall of sound, um, massive delays and um, those like those like I said those sort of like beating rhythms that you can pull out of it um, and just the crazy feedback machine that it is um, really makes this a ton of fun. Thanks so much for watching. Um, really cool to bring this one to you today and uh, thanks so much and I'll see you next time.